Honey, I got something I want to share with you. Okay. Come on. Let me tell you about it. All right. So listen. Wait a minute. Let me get in. What's on? What's going on? When you were gone. Okay. All right. I received an email. Okay. We got to stay in the same plane. You got to stay in the same plane. Okay. Go ahead. You received an email. Now I was trying to use this and there you go <laughs> with that again, but I'm going to use it anyway. Uh, so yeah, I received an email from a gentleman. His, his channel is Bold Carnivore. Okay. All right. And he wanted to interview me. He Bold, wanted to interview Bold us. Carnivore. He wanted to interview us, but that was the week that you were gone. Okay. And so... Um, Wait, where is he from? Jakarta, Indonesia. Wow. I know. Somebody wow. was actually watching the brand. Indonesia. Wow. Yes. So, um, he reached out. I told him he can only get one brown this time and that um, we could possibly, you know, do the both of us. Well, sure. so I, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, we had... I've. He did a really good interview. Did he? Yeah. He talked, he brought things out. I hadn't even shared on the channel yet. Wow. I can't yeah. wait to see it. Yeah. So, but I'm at part three. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I had to break it down because other than that, it would have been really long. And I, you know me, I just get a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. So this is the third and hopefully it's the final. This one might be a little longer than the others, but we're going to finish this out. I had a great time. His information is down in the description. Great. And so. Can't wait to see it. I'm yeah. glad I'm back. Me too. All you know, right. I'll be missing yeah. you. Okay. Baby. All right. Yeah. All right. So guys, I hope you enjoy this. This is like our year uh, coming up because like I said, both of us are turning 60. And then right after that, we'll be celebrating our 20th year anniversary. That's nice. It is. It really, <laughs> really is. And I, I, we hear a lot in regards to our dynamic when we're talking. And uh, be, it, it's almost as if um, he and I are conducting a conversation and the viewers, the audience, uh, are just being a part of it. And, you know, we just share things. We decided, even though we're um, carnivores, when we decided to do the channel and that was a big deal uh for that because we didn't have a youtube channel but that's how much we believed i, I went vegan i didn't start a channel to tell people about it i tell people all the time i didn't beat your door down to my I might share with you like meatless Monday just try it and see if you like it but I didn't beat your door down about it because I did not feel a hundred percent this diet and I, he's an introvert we started an entire channel and uh I talk about everything uh I talk about our health I talk about our grands i talk about uh our sex life i talk i cover it all i really do because everything has changed everything has changed and so it was to the point where we actually started a channel hmm. this diet well i don't even like to call it a diet our new lifestyle is phenomenal it really is and it's it's worth documenting it. And that's what I look at YouTube as being. I'm documenting it and um, I, I plan on living to at least a hundred. So let's say 60 years from now, I believe that it'll be much more popular and our great, great grandchildren can watch us and still learn from us. So not only is this a channel for us, this is a legacy leaving where I'm showing them how I cook, uh, showing them the interaction between my husband and I. We take that, so we didn't name the channel uh, like the carnivore life, we didn't do that. It's hanging with the brands. So then that way you are hanging with us as we explore and take this trip uh we were in alaska uh looking for food so we were um on a cruise ship we took the people with us on the cruise ship you got a chance to see um 
places that we went, we took you on that journey with us. So you're pretty much hanging with us. We love it. My husband is a lion. Um, we found where pork did not agree with him. It probably was in the amount that he was having. But um, so he's pretty much beef, salt, and water twice a month. And sometimes only once. Um, he'll have two strips of bacon. Like I, so I'll, the, I'll do that. With the pork, I would be concerned with what they eat because sometimes the linoleic acid can get pretty high in a pig. Yeah. So if you get some clean pork like wild boar, that may not occur. Yeah, but it, it's the bacon that he likes the flavor of. And so with that, we just, he just doesn't. For me, uh, I haven't found a meat that bothers me. And uh, so I'll dip around, but it's mainly beef and lamb what I do. Mm. Mm -hmm. But then if I your lamb. Some, uh, sausage and eggs, I'll fix it. <laughs> How do you cook your lamb up? In a cast iron skillet with some butter. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, that is it. And I'll do, and I'll eat the whole pack. Yeah, I, I, I picked that up like, um, yeah, I just put it all there and, and I just sit there and gnaw. And I love it because I'm at home and I get to like get all around the bone and I don't have to use a knife. <laughs> and do you do any snacking on your carnivore lifestyle? Uh, <laughs> for me? I tried the uh, eating once a day, but I had the gastric sleeve. So I have a very small stomach and I wasn't taking in enough food, like a chicken leg. That's what my stomach can hold. Well, I can't survive. Well, I could, but I found myself being weak. And so I break mine off during a window. Okay, so uh, I still intermittent fast during my window, but I eat multiple times during that time. If I snack on something, it'll be like corned beef. Yeah. I'll have them to slice it up. I'll roll it up and, and that'll be a, a snack. But outside of that, I really, I'll fix a steak. And a lot of times I can only take in half of it. So what I do, I eat the fat portions first. And then in about an hour or so, I'll go and finish the rest. And then uh, later on, I might have a burger. And it all depends. So it'll, it'll be a regular size burger. And um, I'll see close to four o'clock. Uh, how I'm feeling and do I want to take in something else? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Now for my husband, he eats once because he can sit there and take it all in and just, he's done, but that doesn't work for me. And that is the only thing in my life that I regret is having that surgery. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So I did, I did a couple of videos on that, just really pleading because uh, they don't explain to you your side effects. All mm -hmm. we see is just being smaller. I tell people all the time, I develop high blood pressure after the surgery. Now, how the heck that happened? I don't have the faintest idea. It's gone now, but yeah, that's what I had. Is that a non-reversible surgery? Yes. Yeah, the stomach is in the trash. Did they tell you that that was non-reversible on the yeah. forefront or no? Yeah, yeah. They let, they, oh, they tell you all of that. They cover their tail. But once again, when you have dealt with weight all that time, all you see is being smaller. And then, of course, they let you know, um, it can reverse your diabetes, your cholesterol. It'll tell you, but I didn't have any of that in the beginning anyway. So all I wanted was to be smaller. 
Hmm. Seems like it's a little off label to do a surgery like that just to lose weight, but I suppose that's what they're marketing it as, yes. Yeah. That you started the diet just about three days after your husband, right? Two days. Mm -hmm. Two days. Two, okay, two days. And um, what is it that motivated you so quickly to change your mind? Uh, like I said, for me, my bursa, the bursitis, the, um, how I used to get out of bed. So, <clears throat> and I, I, I used to tell my husband, I'm tired, but I hate going to bed because the agony that I was in, in the morning. So my body was so full of pain that I, to get out of bed, I couldn't just sit up, turn to the side and get out of bed. I couldn't do that. So I would have to roll on my stomach and then push myself backwards out of the bed. And then I, al I was always hunched over. And then by the time I made it, I don't know, about 10 steps, I could stand up and then move forward. And that was, and then of course, if you sit down in a chair for a period of time, uh, you, your body got stiff. And I used to call it the, the old people because when I stood up, my, my, because you're, when you're seated, you're in this L position. So I couldn't just stand straight up. I stayed in the L position as my legs were moving. And then I would slowly straighten my body out. I was too young for that. I did not like that at all. Well, I agree with you. He was definitely too young for that. <laughs> wow. So did your husband have any resolution to his problems within that short space of time that made you go, hmm, this might be the right way? No, it was only a couple of days. The only thing that I can say in regards to him was I saw the happiness on his face, mm -hmm. which meant that he um he was eating he was eating food i told you he was eating uh chicken caesar salad all that time and now here he is eating so uh i have pictures of him with a huge smile on his face there was such a satisfaction with that well he and i are copycats meaning if he's going to do it, I'm going to do it. If I'm going to do it, he's going to do it. If, if he's going over there, I'm going over there. People always say, y'all don't get tired of each other. No, I really love him. And plus, I'm fun to be around. What are you talking about? So it just <laughs> works for us. It really, really does. We don't, we don't look to find things to get away from each other. I, it, it's almost as if, we get saddened by like, hey, I'm going to go over here and, you know, he's not going or he's going to go to the store. And I'm like, oh, I'll see you when you get back. I, I, we really love each other we, and, each, and, each, and enjoy each other's company. So this is not um, fake or anything. So it's like, no, if he's going to do it, I'm going to do it. And I just I couldn't do beef right away, though. And your preferred cooking medium is butter. Well, it all depends on what it is. Um, steaks, a lot of time, I just let the steak cook and its own the salt and its own juices. Lamb, I like with butter. Um, liver, I like with butter. Uh, mm. I even have tallow to fry chicken. Now that cost me twenty five dollars for that can, but it is what it is. So um, I'll season my chicken and then I take pork, uh, plain pork rinds and ground them up. And then that's my flour. Mm -hmm. And it makes some of the best chicken uh, ever. Now, I don't have that often. Uh, I probably have fried chicken maybe twice. Uh, I'll do wings in the air fryer and uh what else with ground beef i did i heard someone and i i did do it 
I cut up uh, a cube of cheese, put it inside of the hamburger meat, and then I wrapped the hamburger meat in bacon in the muffin pans, and I baked those. Um, that's something simple that you can literally pick up and eat like an apple. Oh, so that sounds good. Yeah, it's it's just so many different things that that you can do. We, we did we did a poop episode for him, and we did a poop episode for me because both of ours was different. And um, on his, that's one of the things that he talked about is not having a gallbladder, and it'll it would run through him. Now. It's, he has to take in like a stupid amount of uh, fat for it to affect him. Other than that, he's, he, he poops every, uh, I don't know, three to five, three to four days. That's pretty much, so his, your body is wonderfully made. And so a lot of times you'll hear people say, if uh, a, something happens to a person's eyesight, their hearing is better. So your body is going to compensate. And without having that gallbladder, his other organs have jumped in and they're doing what they're supposed to do now. And they've compensated for the lack of the gallbladder. And yeah, he has no issues anymore. But I want people to know who don't have a, uh, a gallbladder, there is a light at the end of this tunnel. Your body will literally go back to normal. That's amazing. That is amazing. Because I, I know that a lot of people are coming into the carnivore diet and their bodies have been beat to pieces from the way that they ate before. And many of them are missing an organ like gallbladder or something else. And really, it does give a lot of hope to look forward to well you mean i can be normal again at least yes. to the extent that i can be yeah yes mm -hmm. you can that's that is awesome and i'm glad to hear it so being on the carnivore diet um the restless leg calm down that it would bob versus every night it might hit me every three to four nights so if I had an episode, nine out of 10, I won't have it tomorrow. So in the last, I will say eight days, I've had to wear the compression socks twice. Well, that's nice. Oh, that is wonderful. Especially when I put the compression socks on and have no issue. I just have on these tall black socks with my pajamas. So <laughs> it looks like I'm getting ready to go somewhere. So yes, it was just as simple as the compression socks. And that was enough pressure that it just didn't bother me anymore. So I hope that helps someone. How long have you guys been doing the carnivore lifestyle exactly? Um, Thursday will be 90 days. Nice. See all those resolutions over such a short period is fantastic. I, I try and tell people I now feel 33 on the inside. Mm -hmm. I literally have fibromyalgia. Ooh. I forgot about that. Uh, you you could not press on my body. Uh, if you hug me too tight, I was like, oh, God, God. yeah, you, yeah, you just could not. Um, Ladies like pedicures. So when I would go and, and how they massage the lip, I didn't want in. You couldn't do that to me. I only wanted you to do my toes and, and my heel. That's it. I stopped wearing uh, polish on my nails probably 15 years ago. I couldn't even put clear on. And um, now I just had my first full body massage with no issues at all. I mean, the list goes on. My pain, they were talking about back surgery, fusing my back together. Uh, all of that gone. I have zero issues in this short amount of time. So I can't even imagine what 
60 days, uh, I mean, uh, six months is going to feel like. Mm -hmm. One year anniversary. I can't even imagine it. And weight-wise, in April the 28th, I weighed 192 pounds. And I always tell ladies that, that what you end up saying is, Ooh, at least I'm not 200. Uh, now I weigh 145. Nice. Mm -hmm. it, it started with the intermittent fasting because I started that then. But the major portion of the weight um, has been with the carnivore of how this has been... If, if such a thing, this is good weight loss. This is mm -hmm. um, my body. It wasn't a calorie. I don't count calories. This was not a calorie deficit. This was a, my body took care of itself and got rid of that excess fat. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, this is a whole different feeling in weight loss. The, the, mm -hmm. All of it, 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 it feels different. And uh, on social media, two things that I do, hashtag road to 60, R-O-A-D, 260. Um, and then the other one, hashtag never be big again. I will never be big again. And normally when we diet, we know if we start eating back like we were, there's a great chance that that weight is coming back without a shadow of a doubt. I know I will never be big again. The downside, I don't have many clothes. Yeah, I, well, that's I a probably, good thing there. Yeah, uh, well, the, no, what's good is because I am turning 60 and my husband said, well, doggone it, we're going on a shopping spree. And But I told uh -huh. him, I said, even at 145, I still have some excess. So um, I would... I still want to drop probably an additional 15 mm -hmm. and then I'll go ahead and shop. What are your long-term goals in, in the carnivore community, in your lifestyle, in your general living? I think our long-term goal is to continue getting this message out. I'm looking forward to the six month mark, just 30 days. Those 30 days are going by whether you want them to or not. And I tell people, tell yourself, quit telling yourself, I can't have this. Just say, not now. Just tell yourself that because see, there's going to be an element of clarity at the end of the 30 days. You can do it. I tell people, quit overthinking it. Go to your refrigerator, go to your freezer, and look at everything that's neat. Start there. Yeah, just start one day at a time. One day at a time. Quit thinking about that cake. Quit thinking about, you know, chips. And, and, and oh, you mean, Tammy, I, oh, macaroni and cheese. Oh, my God. Oh, I love me rice and great. Quit thinking about that. If you really, really want to make a change, I don't understand people that are willing to, uh, prescriptions normally come, in 30 day supply. You're willing to take those pills with the side effects 30 days, but not give this a try for 30 days. Just stop that foolishness. Just stop it, I say. Take your health. This is that one body that you have. Take care of it. But for some reason, people don't want to give up that processed food to live quality. Me just being here and you shoving me around or I need you to bring me something. I want, I want quality of life. So for my 60th birthday, I, I'm turning a cartwheel. <laughs> something that I have not Man. done. I'm telling you. And my husband said, I'll record it. I said, uh-uh, you're going to be spotting me. You better put that uh, thing up on a tripod. I <laughs> yeah. I, those are the things that you think about. Why do you have to look at someone else and say, oh, they really look good for their age? You can too. You can too. Get your body how it needs to be. You've eaten junk long enough. Make the change. Give yourself 30 days.
Give yourself 30 yes, days. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Indeed. I like that so much. All right. So I think that's a great place to close it up for the time. And I'd like to thank you, Miss G, for coming on. I You've thank you for guest. your email. I really do. I want you nothing but success. This is a perfect time to say thank you. Thank, thank you. I know. Thank you. thank you for watching us. Thank you for hanging out with the Browns. And what do we need you to do, baby? Like, share, subscribe. The subscribe button is here. And then take a look at this video.